Hey fellow scrappers, it's Mike the Scrapping Guy again with another video tutorial. And in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how you can take a photograph and cut it into a shape very easily using Photoshop Elements 7. So what I have now is my background paper that I'm just going to use as an example. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a photograph that I have down here and I'm going to cut it into a apple shape and put it onto, or actually have it onto the, um, onto the paper. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize that and the first thing I want to do is I'm just going to make sure that my color swatches are black and white or at least the white one is the top one. And I'm going to go up to my sh custom shape tool and I'm going to click on that. If it, if it isn't the uh, custom shape, if it's one of these other ones, just go ahead and scroll down to the custom shape tool selection. And you go up on the right hand side and I have uh, various fruits and vegetables set up now but if you want to change it to any other shape you can go and uh, click on the little double arrows and it'll bring up a menu of other kind of shapes that you can use for instance here's some crop shapes and you can also see there's uh, faces there's flowers and all different uh, types of shapes in there but just for fun I'm going to go ahead and use the fruit and I'm going to click on the apple and I'm just going to go over to my paper and just kind of draw one out here for whatever size I want and you can see right now it is white and it did create a shape layer for me but what I need to do is I need to simplify this layer so that I can work for or I'll work on it so I'm going to go up to the simplify button click on that and now you'll see in the shape that it has the you know you may or may not be able to see it has the uh, checkerboard behind it means it is transparent and the only thing we have here is the shape you go ahead and move it and show you uh, there we go so what I want to do is I'm going to make my photograph into this shape but before I do that I'm going to add a little bit of an effect I'm going to go over to uh, let's see I want to go over to my uh, all the effects button and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom I'm kind of looking for one that I was working with before and it is a bezel uh, here we go it's kind of an indentation kind of a bezel so I'm going to go and I'm going to grab it and I'm going to drag it over to my shape and now to make adjustments I'm going to click on the FX little tab there and I can, using this slider in the pop-up menu I can adjust the size of the bezel and actually I want to have it going so that it's down so their direction is down so I'm going to click the down and give a little bit of a 3D effect I'm going to choose 65 Go ahead and hit OK. Now you can see it has the bezel going around the apple. And what I want to do is I'm going to put the picture inside this apple, uh, but the really cool way that I'm going to do it, it's going to allow me to adjust the positioning of the photograph without actually having to try it in one shot or using some kind of selection tool and cutting around this apple. Uh, it's really simple to do. And all I need to do is go over to my shape layer. I'm going to hold the control button down I'm going to click on the thumbnail and what that does as you can see it puts little marching ants around the apple shape let me go ahead and open up my picture here and what I need to do is go and I, I can do one or two ways I, can, ways I can either do select all or as a shortcut what you can do is you can hit control A and it does the same thing now I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to copy that photograph or you could hit control C if you want to use the keyboards. Now with my photograph copied I'm going to come over to my paper and I want to make sure that the shape layer is selected and I'm going to go up to edit paste into selection. Now you can see there is my photograph and I can actually move it around and make adjustments and it stays within the selection of that apple which we chose previously. So what I can do is make little fine tune a little bit here kind of get them inside there and I can check the little green click on the little green check mark control D to deselect everything and then there we have it we have the photograph inside the shape of the apple and I even add a little bit of 3D uh, bevel to it and what I can do now is I can go and manipulate that uh, that apple and I can turn it and do whatever I need to do with it oops don't want to do that there we go. I can turn it if I need to and do whatever. So what you can do is you can you know layer or put a whole bunch of different kind of shapes 
onto a page and put photographs within each shape very easily using Photoshop Element 7.